Now, there are currently two types of methods for adding Bootstrap into our subtheme. One is using CDN. That's also our default method. Let's check it out. First, we go to Appearance. Click on Appearance. Settings. Advanced tab. Bootstrap CDN. This is our current version that we are using. But there's no latest version listed here. At this time of recording, the latest Bootstrap version should be 335. Now the other method is to use our own Bootstrap source file, downloaded directly from this Bootstrap website. I'm going to show you now on how to implement this. Let's go back to our Drupal site. Now, we will disable the CDN here. Select Disabled, scroll down and save the configuration. Let's go back to the home page and have a look. Now you will notice once we have disabled the CDN, there will be no more linking to the external bootstrap JavaScript and CSS files. That's why the site is broken. And that's okay, we will fix it. Let's go to the getbootstrap.com, the official bootstrap website to download the file. Let's click on download bootstrap button. Here we will select download source. Let's go to the Drupal Bootstrap theme page. Scroll down. Under documentation, let's click on Bootstrap documentation. You can read through to have a better understanding of how this theme works. Let's scroll down. Click on Bootstrap subtheme how to. Go down. Here is a brief explanation on how to implement the two methods for adding Bootstrap into our subtheme. This is method 1, method 2. You can read through yourself. Okay, we will continue now. Let's open the zip file that we downloaded just now. Now let's go to our theme folder, sites, all, themes, Bootstrap sub theme. Now I have unzipped the file here. Let's open this. Another folder with the same name. Open it. Now there's a this folder. It's a distribution folder. We need this folder. But before that, let's open this JS folder. Let's copy all these JavaScript files. Ctrl C or Command C. Go back one level up. Go to this folder, js, and paste all the files here. Now go back again. This time we are going to copy this this folder, Control C or Command C, back to our Bootstrap sub theme, and paste it here. Now we are going to rename this to Bootstrap. Right. So this one we can delete. So let's check the structure. We have Bootstrap sub theme, Bootstrap, the three folders, and all the JavaScript files here. I think that's all. Let's go and edit the .info file. You can use any text editor like Dreamweaver, Sublime, Note++ that you are familiar with to edit this file. I will use Aptena to do so. Let's open Sites, All, Themes, Bootstrap Sub Theme, and look for a .info file. Open it. Scroll down. Let's uncomment for all these JS files. OK. We also need the Bootstrap CSS file. Now, to make it simple for you, instead of compiling the last file like the instruction given, we we'll just add the CSS file here. Let's scroll up. Let's copy this line. Paste it at the top. Let's type bootstrap slash CSS slash bootstrap dot min dot CSS. We need to add this file before the style dot CSS so that you will not override the style dot CSS. Now after doing this, 
Let's save the file. Go back to our Drupal site. Flash all catches and see. It's back. Okay, great. Now, a note here. Instead of adding Bootstrap source file manually in this way, you can also use a Bootstrap library module to help you out. Now, after disabling the CDN, you just need to download the Bootstrap file from the getbootstrap.com website. Click Download Bootstrap. You can download this file here, right? And place it under the Libraries folder as specified here, right? And then you install this module and turn it on. You should be good to go. However, for this project, we will stick to adding the Bootstrap source file manually to have some controls. So let's move on to the next.